guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Maddie and today I'm going to be giving you my Spookathon TBR. This is my first time ever participating in a readathon, so I'm really excited. There are five challenges and the first challenge is read a thriller. And for this one, I'm reading The Girl on the Train by Paula Hawkins. I have the physical copy and I picked up the audiobook from my local library. So I think I'm gonna rotate between the two and I'm really excited. I don't really read thrillers. It's just not a genre that I generally gravitate towards, but I am super excited. I know this is a very beloved popular book. So I ran a poll on Twitter asking you guys which book I should read this month and y'all picked The Girl on the Train. So this is the one that I'll be reading for this readathon. The second challenge is to read a book with purple on the cover. So I picked up The Storm Runner by J.C. Saravantes. Saravantes. I'm sorry, I don't know how to pronounce this. Um, but this is a Rick Riordan Presents book. I saw it at the library. It had purple on it. I've never heard of this book, but I saw that it was a Rick Riordan Presents book. So I just picked it up and it sounds interesting. It's about Mayan, Mayan mythology. I'm super intrigued and I hope I really enjoy this. And challenge three is read a book not set in the current time period. For this one, I chose A Great and Terrible Beauty by Libra Bray. I've never read a Libra Bray book and I really enjoy historical fiction, but I don't actually read a lot of it. So this one has been on my shelf for probably about two years now and I just haven't picked it up. But this readathon is the perfect time. So I really hope that I like this one as well. Uh, and maybe it will inspire me to pick up more historical fiction. Challenge four is read a book with a spooky word in the title. So this one I have Dreams of Gods and Monsters by Lainey Taylor. I've been reading this book for probably like two months now. It's actually good. I am enjoying it for some reason. I just haven't been inclined to pick it up. I think I was reading a lot of fantasy and I just got out of the fantasy mood. So I need to finish this. And it has monsters in the title, so I think it counts. And challenge five is read a book with pictures in it. I've never actually read a graphic novel before. I saw this in the library. I think, yeah, it's brand new. I was the first person to ever check it out. So I'm excited to read my first graphic novel. This is Spill Zone by Scott Westerfield. I've never actually read one of his books either, even though I think I own a couple. I don't think I've ever heard of this one before, but most of the time when people talk about graphic novels in their videos, I just kind of like zone out because I've never really been interested in reading a graphic novel. But I decided I'd rather read a graphic novel for this readathon instead of a children's book because um, I needed a book with pictures in it. I think I'll really enjoy it. It's based off or it was inspired by Chernobyl. I think it'll be really good. That is my TBR for this week's Spookathon. I'm super excited for this. Let me know in the comments down below if you are participating in this year's Spookathon. And let me know if you've read any of the books on my TBR. I would love to know your thoughts on them. I will be vlogging this entire week and I'll do my wrap up for this readathon in my vlog that I will post probably sometime next week. That is it for this video today. Thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more bookish content by me. I hope you all have a wonderful day and I will see you in my next video. Bye!